right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fork Over the Ring, where we all know the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And I know it's been a few weeks since the last video, and I said that I was going to do all the good stuff and continue to upload. But y'all, my camera has been having issues with my brand new camera. And even today, when, when I was about to record this video, I still had issues. I went to Best Buy for them to fix the camera, and it was just that my batteries were in wrong, so... You know, shit happens. And I have re-enrolled into school, so I am currently a Georgetown student for the next three weeks. It's been two months so far. And then I will be completely done with that. But today I am here for a new video that I told you guys I was going to do, which is dun, 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 a snack crate review. Um, snack crate is a, is a subscription service where you pick which levels you want and it lets you... Um, get certain snacks from different places of the world. Last month I got one from South Africa, but it was the small box, so it wasn't worth reviewing. Um, I do have a few of the things still if you guys want me to review it. But this month we are from, let's find out, Hawaii, which is not around the world. Whatever. Um, It gives you a little information about Hawaii. It gives you fun facts. Hawaii grows nearly 42 acres each year. Um, the result of Mount Kilauea's ongoing eruption. So, regardless, the island grows every year. Um, surfing was invented in Hawaii. And then it tells you what you guys actually get in your box. I think, so there's a mini box, there's an original, a premium, and then you can do a drink upgrade. I got the original box, I believe. So this is everything that I'm going to be reviewing today. Which is pretty cool because it lets me know as I go through what I got. Um, and I will be doing this for three months. So I'm doing this one today. I actually have another one in the mail now. So I'll upload that in April. And then I'll upload one more and then we'll find a new subscription to do for three months. So in your box you also get some snack crate stickers. If you want to post them around. And then stickers. Oops. Excuse me. And then stickers that are dedicated to the place that you are reviewing. So, these are pretty cool. I'm sure my little brothers will enjoy them. And then let me show you how the things come in the box. I've already opened this one, but what else? It comes in like this. I would have thought that it had something to do with the UK, considering it has this sticker on it, but it doesn't. But yeah, this, the, um, the paperwork does make you think about Hawaii, so whatever. And then these are all the snacks that you start off with. So, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to try is Maui style onion potato chips, right? Yeah, Maui style onion potato chips. They are country chips infused with savory onion flavor and dusted with salt. Each bite will make you feel fresh Maui spirit. I think they say Maui. Now, hey, none of this keto friendly. So if I don't think it's my birthday just next weekend, whatever. These are not nasty. chips so they hard I don't really care for kettle corn like the kettle chips I don't like them that hard but it's like regular French onion I guess it's, are those French onion chips so this is like sour cream and onion chips that's what it is sour cream and onion mmm my mom would like these my dad wants these too but they're not as salty as other chips are, so all of their onion flavored alone for me, I know my breakfast is probably kicking. Nope, not yet. Those they taste like. Next we have grab some water. Hold on. I had to get something to clean my palate because onion. Onion and um Life don't mix, okay? Next, we have Hawaiian style 
luau barbecue chips. Take a trip to a traditional Hawaiian feast with these sweet and spicy barbecue chips. Not really a fan of barbecue chips, but I am a fan of spicy stuff because you know all the ratchet hoes love spicy shit. They're not spicy. They eat kettle corn chips too. They actually taste a little stale. Expiration date, May 15. I'm assuming this is May 15 of 2019. So I mean, oh my nails are horrible. Which means they are close to expiration. So that probably means why they taste like they stale. I don't like these. I wouldn't buy these. My little brother's going to these. I don't want them. <clears throat> I don't like that. The more it's in my mouth. Mm-mm. 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 Next, we're going to try Diamond Bakery's Hawaiian Cookie Candy Bread. It's dotted with Colorful sprinkles and flavors with a hint of lemon. These cookies are a Hawaiian favorite. Now I do have this with the lemon. I'm not gonna open this up. Oh y'all, the calories and carbs up in this stuff. Woo Jesus! I might have to go to the gym. It don't smell lemony. Not super sweet. They are good. I want bodies, but they will be bomb if they have like a lemon custard inside. Woo baby! These are like under the influence snacks. Because all these sprinkles and stuff, these are for kids and grown folks who are under the influence of whatever your poison is. Next, we're going to do. I'm thinking it's supposed to be Choco Mochi, Mochi? Choco Mochi, um, chocolate covered Japanese rice crackers, which are a tasty example of aging influence on the island with a crispy rice cracker covered in milk chocolate. I'm not excited about this. I don't think I'm gonna like these already. Mm, and a weird shaking look. Mm, you know. Even the picture just don't look appetizing. Nah. It's almost there. 
It's too much dip on the chip, baby. Too much dip on the chip. All right. Since we're in the chocolate, we'll stay there. Next, we have the Hawaiian Host Maui Maui Carmax Caramax, y'all. Okay, I don't know. I swear I got some degrees. I can read a little bit. It's crunchy macadamia nuts are mixed with creamy caramel dipped in rich chocolate. These are ridiculously good. Now, I might, I could probably get jiggy with these. The packaging looks like old lady candy, but I like nuts. I like chocolate nuts, so you know. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm. It is good. Mm, okay. You only get two pieces in a pack. Mm. Yeah, I would. You can order the stuff you like off their website. I will order these. These are good. Yeah. So, so far, so far, I can see myself ordering these and the onion chips. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to stay up in this chocolate wave. I'm kind of, kind of full. I don't know how folks do these. Oh, damn. All right, this time, okay, they like macadamias in there, I guess. Um, Maui Caramax. Oh, these are the Caramax. The other ones weren't Caramax. They were Hawaiian Sun Kona Crunch. I like. So these are Kona Crunch that I like. Kona Crunch. Kona Crunch. These are the Hawaiian, so let me read the Kona Crunch description. Hawaiian macadamia nuts dipped in a mixture of rich milk chocolate with crispy rice added with a little extra snap in every bite. So that was the Kona Crunch. That was good. This is the other one, the Hawaiian Hose Maui Carmax. Okay, this one looks good too though. I knew the other one didn't have no caramel in it. Mmm. This it, y'all. It's like every black mother in America would eat those. It's their version of a turtle. So the pecans, it's instead of the cans, it's macadamia nuts. Yeah, that was good. All right, now we're getting down to like the little stuff in here. I'm not really a fan of all the gummy candies and stuff, but let's give it a try. Pie, okay, this is short bread. Piaca, P-I-A-C-C-A, pineapple short bread. This authentically Hawaiian treat is made of all native ingredients and feature, featuring sweet short bread with a real pineapple filling. Real pineapples, they said. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it smells like real pineapples. Ooh, it smells like the rum cake you get on the rum tour when you go to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. It's dry. I get a little deeper. I'm gonna get the creamy filling. There you go. Mm-mm. This ain't nothing but a, a fake me off fig noodle. Mm-mm. Ain't gotta eat that. And a dry. Dry like, mm-mm, like Betty White Cat. Mm-mm. I'm good, bruh. Next, we'll do this. This is cookie easy. This is a pineapple gummy. These fun size gummy pineapples are packed with sweet pineapple flavor. Ooh. Try one, shall we? Mm. Soak these in some Ciroc. 
I just did something. What I think I'm liking about these Hawaiian candies and stuff is that they are naturally flavored, so they're not overly sweet. And I think I can get jiggy with that. Next, we are going to do, these look like edibles. I'm so sorry, the packaging looks like these edibles. Hope no children are watching. Edibles are, um, I bet, yeah, edible food. They're called Rainbow Bells. Deliciously bright in color, or excuse me, deliciously brightly colored gummy strips dusted with Li Hing Mule Powder, which gives you the perfect sweet blend of salty and sweet. Bernie is salty! I got excited for nothing. Man, my brother can have these too. I can already tell. tonight so I'll be looking ratchet oh these are good let me eat one more a little short piece mmm this is real good I'm gonna order these they got Asian trans Asian trans My mama gonna slap me for using my teeth. Ugh, excuse me. Yeah, I like our cheese though, so I know I'm gonna like this. This is really cool. But it's good. I'm happy that none of this is overly sweet, like. Shoulders are not showing. <clears throat> okay. The last thing we have are Lee Hing Mule Drops. Sweetheart candies flavored with plums. With a pit of a real plum in the center. The fuck do I want a plum pit for? The fuck do I I'm not excited. And it's hard, Kings. I gotta suck on this. 
<laughs> Before I get to the candy itself, the plum pit is salty as a mother. That's probably how they preserve it with salt. Bring that ass here, sir. Sir, sir, where you going? Where you going? Bye.